I'm a recent film graduate and now I work at the future. When I started editing here, I quickly realized how far my editing skills were from standard practice. In this video, I'm going to share some of my tips to get more out of your edits. When you work at a studio, you're expected to have good hygiene. One of the ways this manifests is by having good file organization. Another editor can't waste time trying to locate a file that you put in the incorrect folder. So when I was in film school, I would just import all of my files, all of my pictures, all of my audio into one folder. You can't do that here. It's chaos. Everything becomes chaos. It wasn't until I began working here that I began to practice good folder hygiene. Matthew and the team here are very good at organization. This is the current state of the file system here at the future. Everything has its own bin, everything has its own folder. That way, nothing gets misplaced. Because if something gets misplaced, it turns into chaos. That's not okay. Another little tip is to have a specific naming system for everything you do. That way you don't have any of this or any of this. Creative directors hate that <laughs> Don't do it. The next thing I learned how to do here was start a video. Whether it be a narrative piece or an informative video, you need to grab the audience's attention. What you don't want to do is this. See, that was 44 seconds of just pretty shots. You don't want to do that. A better way to start your video would be to show a mini movie in that first scene. Jaws is a really good example of this. You see the expectation here is that she's just going to go swimming, but that's not what occurs. We're getting a teaser of what the overall film will be about. So in Jaws, the movie's about a shark eating people. What do we see? We see a shark eating a person. That's why it's a good intro. Or if you don't want to do that, what you could do is start by having the audience be left behind. A good example of this is The Dark Knight. We're thrown right in the middle of a heist. But our expectation has changed when the bad guys begin to kill each other, leaving the audience trying to figure out why. We're already engaged from the first scene. That's why this works. Working here gave me some insights on how to craft my edits. When you're coming through a few hours of footage to try to make a three minute video, you have to be super specific in what you're trying to say. You have to have a clear goal of what question your video is going to answer. Like this, this is a goal. Okay, next is to lay out your video in some form. I use sticky notes. It's a good way to see if it flows or not. Then that way you can go through and see what fits and what doesn't fit. If it doesn't deliver to the overall goal, cut it. Like this, it doesn't fit. Okay, to recap, make sure you get organized before you even start your video project. Number two, make sure you have a solid opening to really attract your audience. And three, make sure you have a clear goal so you know what the point of your video is. All right guys, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video so I don't get fired. And uh, if you want me to do a deeper dive on one of these, let me know, and then I'll let uh, Chris and Matthew know. this. This is a goal.